Hi. So, wanted to talk real fast um, about something very important for promoting your band. Uh, somewhere I think a lot of bands uh, fall down flat, actually. And that's incorporating your personal interests into your brand. Um, I think a lot of the time, people have personal interests, like I have with cigars. Oh, this is a delicious Jurassic Naturale, by the way. That just, they don't talk about. And I think that just kind of makes them seem alien and weird. Like, ah, boy, my coat. Um, no one is genuine is just only about music all the time only like people have other things going on in their lives even if it's just their jobs or whatever I mean I'm sure some people only do music and only do music but like seriously bring in other things that make you a person just because it's going to make people want to connect with you more it's gonna make you seem uh, for lack of a better term more real and if you seem more real you know that just makes it vastly more likely people are gonna to want to connect and if people want to connect they're going to buy your records and become a part of your brand and want to tell the story with you. And once they start telling the story with you, that's where you start to see the real value of just the whole fucking shebang. Um, you know, and for lack of a better term, creating a sense of humanity is really what we're all in this for anyway. You know, and I think you see this with big artists who all the time are just constantly on Twitter or sharing what they're listening to. And it can even be that if you're just, if all you're into is music, just sharing what you're listening to and sharing that real connection. But it can also be literature or art or history or video games, like I said, video games or whatever, you know, these are the things that differentiate. These are the things that make you more than just some guy who likes to play guitar and turn you into like a meaningful three-dimensional band. Like even Iron Maiden, you know, love soccer and they've like included that in album covers and stuff and that's made them hugely popular just by being oh we're Iron Maiden and we like soccer because we're British so of course we like soccer you know and I think people forget that that it can just be as simple as here is a basic core human interest that thousands of people share and we want to talk about that too and by talking about that they become a much more substantial much more real much more relatable group and establishment and just Thing happening in the underground, you know, and I think accepting that, embracing that, and kind of growing is really essential for any band trying to take the next step, you know, is to give them some sort of connection that I think not a lot of people necessarily see or know they should be a part of or whatever, you know, so building these connections and building other ways for people to get attached to you is really important, you know, I think it's the same reason pop punk bands talk about their hometown all the time, because it's creates a connection outside of the music. Not everyone can relate to being a musician, but everyone can relate to having a shitty hometown. Not everyone can relate to, you know, black metal slaughter, but like people out there do like Umberto Eco, you know? And maybe you can just talk to them about Umberto Eco. Maybe that will just be the basis of your growth over a long term. Find those connections throughout your band, showcase them, even bring them into the stage show, you know, if they're appropriate, and you're gonna see some real substantial growth from there.